Hello everyone! Today I want to tell about the metal Samarium. Samarium is a rare earth so called F metal. It is located in the lanthanide portion of the periodic table of chemical elements. Samarium got its name from the summerskite mineral from which Samarium itself is obtained, and the mineral itself was named in honor of the Russian mining engineer Vasily Samarsky Bikhovets. In appearance, Metal samarium looks shiny with a yellowish tinge due to formation of samarium monoxide on air. Also, pieces of samarium has an extremely pronounced crystalline structure, which is also called a metal dendrites. In air, samarium oxidizes quickly, covering itself with a layer of oxide. That is why it is best to be stored in an inert atmosphere, in a glass ampule. If a piece of samarium is to be thrown into hydrochloric acid, it will start actively dissolving in it, forming a samarium chloride of yellow color. The activity of samarium is comparable to its neighbors, neodymium and praseodymium. Interestingly enough, the salt of samarium has a weak luminescence, meaning they glow dimly with a red-orange light under the ultraviolet rays. Also, the samarium chloride solution slightly absorbs ultraviolet radiation. This can be seen if you pass a ray of the ultraviolet laser through a solution of samarium chloride. The standing next to it phosphor solution begins to glow dimmer after passing through the laser beam through the solution. When alkali is added to the solution of samarium chloride, the white samarium hydroxide precipitates, which then can be dissolved in trilon B the descaling agent for the kettles. In the acetic acid, samarium dissolves in the same way as neodymium, forming samarium acetate, which is immediately decomposed because of the hydrolysis in water. Metal samarium is a paramagnetic substance, meaning it is weakly attracted to a powerful neodymium magnet. Also, if samarium is alloyed with the metal cobalt, then from such an alloy it's possible to make some very good and rather powerful samarium cobalt magnets. The magnetic saturation or the magnetic force of these magnets is higher than that of ferrite magnets, but lower than that of neodymium magnets. However, the operating temperature of such magnets sets records among the magnets. This magnet won't degauss even at 500 degrees Celsius, when neodymium can degauss at 55 degrees Celsius. Such magnets are used in the top-end electric motors, as well as in jet engines, where the operating temperature is quite high. In air, a small piece of samarium does not burn from the burner, due to the high melting point. Also, the samarium powder will light up and burn quite well. When samarium burns in air, samarium oxide is formed, which is added to the glass used for lasers to absorb excess ultraviolet as well as infrared radiation. Samarium oxide itself under the ultraviolet light glows with a slight yellow color. Today, samarium compounds have many uses. For example, the quadramet drug, which is samarium complex and is used for treat cancer tumors. Samarium compounds are used as Lewis acids in organic synthesis. Also, the isotope of samarium, samarium-149, is an excellent neutron absorber, which creates a problem in the nuclear industry. The reason being is that during the decay of nuclear fuel, the form samarium-149 absorbs the slow neutrons which are quite necessary for the normal operation of the reactor. Samarium-149, along with the other isotopes of gadolinium, are called reactor poisons. Also, samarium monosulfide has an extremely high ability to convert temperature difference into electrical energy, being similar to Peltier elements. Now you know a little bit more about one of the other metals. If you would like to support the continuous production of science videos like this one, please support channel on Patreon, link in the video description. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel to see many more new and interesting.